Good afternoon, my name is Sandra van Laar. I'm a psychologist. I'm going to tell you more about uh, a psychological approach that is currently being investigated um, in a clinical trial with myotonic dystrophy patients in which I am involved. And the aim of, the aim of that study is to um, help patients gradually increase their um, level of activity and we investigate if fatigue can be um, reduced which then should allow patients to do more of the things that they like to do, want to do, and that they enjoy. In this psychological approach, there are different focus points or areas of attention that we think may help patients to become more active and feel less fatigued. And one of those areas of attention is sleep-wake rhythm. When sleep-wake rhythm is irregular, we are easily caught in a negative, vicious cycle. Daytime sleep affects the quality of the night rest, and not waking up refreshed makes, us, makes it more likely to feel unfit during the day, during the day or fall asleep during the day, etc., etc. And daytime sleep makes it more difficult to get active um, and up and going. A regular sleep-wake rhythm does, and we know that that is not easy to, um, to change um, by experience. And therefore, in this intervention, yeah, one of the interventions or one of the um, things we pay attention to in the program is help patients, support patients to develop a regular sleep-wake rhythm and reduce the daytime sleep. Difficulty getting started is a very common problem. Patients find it hard to motivate themselves or to get started doing things. And this problem with motivation and initiative has to do with hurdles and ramps in the neuro neurological pathways that are involved. And it's not a matter of personality. We try to help patients find strategies around this problem for example, by using a diary and plan your next day, think what you want to do the next morning or the next afternoon, or use alarms or other reminders that might be helpful. And also we, we encourage people to develop routines as much as possible. Um, if we do something every day at the same time, or we do something every same day of the week, um, then it makes it more likely, you know, to, to make things happen and to do things. We pay attention to even distribution of activity, as was already mentioned. We emphasize how important it is to evenly spread activity over the day and also over the week. And we encourage patients to abandon the all or nothing principle out of frustration, sometimes people can set themselves unrealistically high goals and then they exhaust themselves and they need long to recover from that exhaustion. And uneven distribution of activity is what we call a fatigue sustaining factor. It, 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 it sustains the tiredness. And therefore we encourage people to evenly spread activity over the day and over the week. Another area of attention is self-image. A chronic disease or condition has impact on how people perceive themselves. It often affects their self-worth. Low self-esteem usually does not help to become more active. So therefore, it is something that we pay attention to. Very often, it is a reason for people to withdraw from social contact or yeah, not to socialize. Um, if self-image is an issue for someone, we, we can discuss it and we can address it. And several patients have reported to us that by becoming more active, they have more positive experiences, which makes them feel better about themselves.
This is meant to be a picture of a three-generation family. Um, as much as possible, we try to involve important others um, in, in yeah, becoming more active, uh, such as parents, partners, or siblings, or friends, um, because that can be very helpful. I give a few practical examples. Um, for example, give the patient a nudge when um, he or she dozes off in the afternoon or early evening and try to keep, try to keep the person awake. Or sometimes join the patient um, for a walk and go together and make it, make it more enjoyable. It can also be helpful to or not to take over jobs um, in the house if the patient st can still do these, um, these things, um, which helps the patient to, to stay active. Or just give a compliment when there is an opportunity to do so, can be very helpful. Family or other important others can play a very important role in managing the impact of a condition, of a, of, um, uh, a chronic condition in daily life. With each person we work with in the trial, we address those focus points which are relevant for the individual. And as much as possible, we make the intervention tailor-made. Certain focus points apply to some, but not to others. We now investigate if this approach um, helps to increase activity and helps to reduce fatigue. And if the answer is yes, we hope it will become standard care as soon as possible in the future. Thank you very much.